hi guys welcome back to my channel it's almost friday we are so close um for me it's payday so i'm extra excited i don't know about you but anyways um we're gonna do a very cute set today i'm sure you already seen it on the picture um so let's get straight into the video all right so we are starting off with the nail prep we are going to push back the cuticle with the cuticle pusher and then we're going to move on to removing the shine from the natural nail bed our nail beds create or produce oil so that's why they're so shiny and we want to prevent any lifting so we are removing the shine i'm doing this with the 180 sanding band and i'm going to keep the sanding band moving i don't want to keep it in one place because i don't want to cause any ring of fires and you're going to want to do this to the whole nail bed you don't want to leave not one single spot shiny Okay, so now that we're done removing the shine, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the nails uh, before I glue on the tips. And so um, the tips that I use is the BU Stiletto. These are the natural ones. Um, these are the ones that I always use. Um, they're very convenient. I don't have to worry about shaping until the end. Um, if I want a, a coffin or a ballerina shape, I just cut off the tip, um, like you've seen in other videos that I've done. And so um, here what I'm doing is just making sure that the nail fits um, sidewall to sidewall. Um, you want to make sure that it fits sidewall to sidewall. You don't want one that doesn't because eventually the nail would just end up popping off. Um, if for some reason the nail is too big and you don't have the correct size, you can always just file the sides down. And so I'm going to be doing this to all four nails. Uh, the glue that you see me use is the IBD. I like it. It works fine. And um, I'll leave the links in the description box for you in case you're interested. Okay, so now that I'm done gluing on the tips, next I'm going to prep the natural nail bed. Um, so in my other videos, you see me use the protein bomb from Young Nails, which I actually love. But I did start with the Mia Secret one, which didn't give me any problems. I'm only using this one because I don't want to waste my protein bond from Young Nails. It's kind of pricey, so I want to keep that for my actual clients. So I'm going to use the dehydrator and I'm going to put this on all the nails. That's just going to dehydrate the nail bed. Again, to prevent any shininess from happening and then i'm gonna put on the bond to prevent any lifting so your acrylic can acrylic can stay and then um now we are going to move on to uh the acrylic application and as you can see here i do use my liquid from young nails which i'm actually running out of and i need to restock but um anyways and you also see me use my panna brush uh the kalinsky i think it's 14 size or 16 i think it was 14 and then um so that's the brush that i'm going to be using i actually love it i used to use the young nails one but i've changed to this one um it is a lot bigger but i do like it and then um you also see me um the color the acrylic color that i'm using is from me a secret it's called ice cream and it's a very bright pink as you can see perfect for summer and so i'm going to be applying this one in a very thin layer it's i'm not going to be building it up um, because I'm going to use the clear acrylic, acrylic for that. So um, I'm going to apply the pink one to actually the um, the index finger and the pinky, um, the full nail. And then on the other ones, I'm going to be doing an extended nail bed. Um, and then I'll be applying the pink to the tips.
All right, so now that I'm done applying the pink acrylic to the index and the pinky, I'm gonna go ahead and create the nail bed with to the other two fingers. And I'm using the cover pink um, with young nails. And I'm gonna apply my first bead right where the nail tip and the natural nail bed meet. And then um, I'm gonna start just shaping it into how I want it to look. Okay, and here you see me applying my second bead. This one I'm gonna use to create my apex and move it and push it up towards the cuticle. And I'm gonna apply a couple of more beads because I thought they were on the thin side. You do wanna create your apex with these beads because um, you're not gonna be capping these with the clear acrylic. So you want it to get it a little, little bit thick. Um, if for some reason it's too thick, you can always just file it down at the end. I am gonna be creating a nail bed uh, for the other finger too. So um, you guys can just watch that. It's gonna be the same process. And then we're gonna move on to filing um, around the nail bed just to get a more sharper look. Alright, so now while I wait um, for the index finger and the middle finger to dry, I am going to cap the other two pink nails with uh, Speed Clear from Young Nails. And then we're going to move on to filing around the natural nail bed again to create a, a sharper look. And girls, don't forget to um, build up your apex with the clear acrylic. Remember, we only laid a thin layer of the pink. We didn't build that up, so you are creating your apex with the clear acrylic. Um, both for the pinky and the index.
all right so now that i'm done capping the two pink nails i'm going to move on to the middle finger and the index finger i'm going to be filing around the nail bed that i created for a sharper look and i'm going to be using my 100 180 grit file from a cart All right, so now that I'm done filing around the nail bed, again, for that sharp look, I'm going to go ahead and dust off the dust from the nails, and I'm going to be applying the pink acrylic on the tips. All right, so now we're going to apply the pink on the tip. Um, this is, again, for me, a secret in ice cream. I'm applying that first bead right in front of the nail bed that I created and I'm gently going to push it back and I'm going to do a very thin layer because I am going to be capping this with the clear um, with the clear acrylic and then this is just to protect the color I don't want to file it off and I will also be doing this to the ring finger.
Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cap the pink just to protect it from being filed off. I'm gonna place that bead right where the nail bed and the um, color meet, and I'm just gonna gently swipe down. And I'm gonna be doing this to the ring finger and the uh, middle finger. Okay, so now that I'm done capping the pink, um, I did move on to filing and shaping off camera. I do this off camera because I do use my practice hand and it's very hard for me to, to file with it. Um, so it does take a, a while and I don't wanna record that and bore you guys with it. So um, now we're moving on to the design. I am using my um, acrylic paints from Americana that I got from Michaels. And then um, what I'm doing here is just, I'm using the white first because I'm creating bananas. Um, if you, like you seen in the picture. So I'm gonna lay down the white first, just so the, the yellow can stand out. So it won't look so dull um, over the pink. So I'm gonna do the white first and I'm gonna do this to all four nails, but only on the pink. Okay, so I'm almost done here creating the bananas. Well, they don't look like bananas now, but they will. And then I'm gonna move on to doing applying the yellow over that white just so they can look brighter. That's why I laid the, the white color first. Um, so I really hope you guys like this. I did get the inspiration from someone that I follow on Instagram. Um, I think it's Helena Nails underscore yg but don't quote me um i will try to i'll put her um instagram on my description box and so now we're moving on to the yellow acrylic paint and i'm just gonna go over um, the white with the yellow
all right so i'm done with the yellow as you can see they're starting to look more like bananas and so now um i grabbed my black acrylic paint and i'm just gonna go um go around the bananas um i guess i don't know trace the bananas <laughs> i don't know and then um i'm gonna give them a little bit of more of a banana look if you will
Okay guys, I'm done creating my bananas. Aren't these cute? I mean, the yellow and the pink is just very summery, very bright. I love it. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, now we're moving on to placing the rhinestones. I am gonna use this UV LED gel that I use. Um, you, it doesn't um, dry. You have to put it in the lamp. So I'm gonna just put this around the nail bed and then um, I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. There's no way of me explaining um, how I'm gonna apply the rhinestones. I'm just gonna apply them. And then I hope you guys like the end result. Um, these are, it's, they're just too cute. All right, so I'm done placing the rhinestones and the little caviar beads that I used in between the rhinestones. Um, so far, I love them. I hope you guys love them. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna be doing um, the same thing to the other nail bed, and then we are gonna move on to applying the gel top coat and looking at the end results. Okay, so as you can see here, I already applied the rhinestones to the second one. I didn't show you the process to that one because it's the same thing as the last one. And so we are looking good. We are looking blingy. We are looking shiny. We are looking fabulous. Now um, we're gonna move on to applying the gel top coat and um, we're gonna look at the end results. But look at this, amazing, right? So I also, I did do the gel top coat, the shiny one, and I also did the matte, but the matte, I didn't um, record it. So I will place a picture and you guys let me know if you prefer shiny or matte, and I hope you guys love them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.